Today we're going to be talking about CeraVe. And if there's one thing about CeraVe, they're going to create a large skew of moisturizers, cleansers, body lotions. CeraVe is currently, if I'm not wrong, the top skincare brand in America. So it's only right that I, as a chemist, help you guys make the right choices when it comes to your skincare products from this brand. So today I'm going to be helping you guys pick out the best moisturizers from CeraVe. Whether you have dry skin, oily skin, sensitive or acne prone skin, you guys are going to get the best products that are best suit your skin because there's a lot of products in their SKU and this video will help you guys make the best decisions. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join the family, hit that like button because you're going to enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So I'm going to start with dry skin and we're going to go into oily skin. Then I'm going to go into sensitive skin and then I'm going to go into acne prone skin. Now on dry skin. Here's all the ways to know that you have dry skin. You can screenshot that, whatever you gotta do. These moisturizers from CeraVe will bring that skin back to its optimal health. The first product I recommend in this category is CeraVe's Daily Moisturizing Lotion. The reason I recommend this for dry skin is because it has all of the three ceramides that are naturally found on the skin. Ceramide MP, Ceramide AP, and Ceramide EOP, which a lot of times dry skin tends to lack because the skin barrier has been compromised. This lotion will help optimize that skin barrier back to health. It also has the methacone, which is an occlusive, which will help blocking any moisture or until the skin which dry skin needs it loses water really fast because the skin barrier has been compromised so it needs to be able to lock in all that hydration the methicone is a great occlusive for that there's also hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid a great humectant to really help with boosting hydration in the skin as well as a cationic surfactants which are really really hydrating surfactants it helps to increase hydration in the skin now the next part that i recommend for dry skin is the moisturizing cream now this one is great for dry skin but it's even better if you have really really dry skin like extremely dry skin this would be great because it has all of the components of the moisturizing lotion but it also has petrolatum which is another occlusive which helps to form a film over the skin barrier and helps to prevent moisture loss which is something that dry skin has a lot of problems with next moisturizer for dry skin is your skin renewing night cream this one is also great because it has a wonderful emollient shea butter which is also really great for stealing moisture in the skin there's hyaluronic acid there's niacinamide to help prevent transepidermal water loss and this product is also fragrance free so if you're not a fan of fragrance this is going to be your girl the skin renewing night cream is also great because it has mve technology which is a paint into technology by CeraVe and this technology basically helps to release these ingredients slowly over time so it's wonderful at nighttime because these ingredients get slowly released onto the skin to help restore the skin barrier. The second to last moisturizer that's going to be wonderful for dry skin is their skin renewing day cream. This one is wonderful because it has ceramides again, hyaluronic acid, and it also has a retinol to really help turn those skin cells over, renewing the surface of the skin, especially the topmost layer of the skin that's more prone to being affected. The last part that I love for dry skin from CeraVe is their SPF 50 facial lotion. This one is great because it has pretty much all the things we talked about earlier. Niacinamide to control transepidermal water loss. There's ceramides for the skin barrier. And there's also SPF 50, which if you're one of those people that does not like to have so many different products, like a separate sunscreen and a moisturizer, this would be great for you because you have an SPF and a wonderful lotion that's great for your skin all in one. So you can go wrong with this. Now moving on to oily skin. Now here's all the characteristics if you have oily skin. You're more than welcome to screenshot it. Now oily skin can also be dehydrated, which dehydration is a skin condition, not a skin type. So be sure not to confuse your oily skin for dry skin. Now, getting to the products here, fresh product I love from CeraVe is their Oil Control Moisturizing Cream. Now, this one also has that NVE technology, which is great for releasing the ingredients over time to moisturize your skin. But it also has an oil control technology, which is pretty much a mix of silica, which helps to absorb extra oil from the skin. There's also niacinamide, which helps to control excess oil and hyaluronic acid to moisturize the skin in case your skin might be dehydrated. Next one is the Ultra Light Gel Moisturizer. I love the gel texture for oily skin because it just feels better, especially for me as someone with more oil oily skin. I just love the feeling of a gel on my skin. It just feels so hydrating. And this one is great because it has niacinamide again to help control oil. There's also ceramides and hyaluronic acid to make sure that skin barrier is intact. Next one is their PM Facial Lotion. I love that this one also has that MVE technology. Niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides, of course, to help to keep that skin in great shape. Next one is their SPF 30 Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This one actually has hybrid sunscreen components. It has zinc oxide and other chemical filters to help protect that skin from the sun. It's also niacinamide. Ceramides for that skin barrier and hyaluronic acid to keep that skin moisturized and not dehydrated. Next is their Ultra Light SPF 30 Lotion. Now this one has straight up chemical filters, so if you're not a fan of mineral sunscreen filters, this one just has chemical filters plus ceramides and hyaluronic acid to keep that skin hydrated. Now sensitive skin, here is all the characteristics of sensitive skin. Now with this skin, you have to be really careful because anything can trigger your rosacea or hyperpigmentation or texture issues or any skin condition you're dealing with. So you want to be really careful and use products with minimal to help restore that skin back to its optimal health. For this one, I recommend their serum. It's not really a moisturizer. It's more of a serum formulation. It's their hydrating hyaluronic acid serum. This one 
Hansen has that MVE delivery technology. Again, it's fragrance free, so it's not gonna irritate your skin. It's also non comedogenic and has ceramides and hyaluronic acid to help moisturize that skin barrier. I also recommend the PM facial lotion, like I also recommend it for oily skin because this one is fragrance free. It's oil free and it's super lightweight, so it's not gonna clog up your skin. So you wanna make sure that any ingredients we're using is non comedogenic to prevent any extra exacerbation of your sensitive skin. Now, the last skin type, acne prone skin. I have seasons where I have acne prone skin and it's not fun, trust me. Acne prone skin is so annoying, I understand. I totally get it. But this skin type is really, really crucial to use products which have no oil. Because unfortunately, a lot of times the skin type is just producing way more oil than a normal skin type or a dry skin type would. But this one, I recommend the Skin Renewing Day Cream. because It has retinol to really help to turn the skin cells over to help reduce the excess sebum in the skin. It's fragrance free, so it's not going to be irritating on the skin. Plus, it's hyaluronic acid to really help keep that skin hydrated. The last moisturizer I recommend for this skin type is their PM Facial Lotion. This one is lightweight. It's oil free, which we love because again, you don't want to introduce excess oil into the skin that's already oily and causing acne. It's super lightweight and it has the MVE technology that slowly releases ingredients into the skin so it doesn't release too much ingredients at one time to the skin. It's also fragrance free, has niacinamide to help control excess oil, and there's hyaluronic acid to make sure that skin stays hydrated. All right, that's it my friends. This is the best way to pick your lotions from CeraVe. I know it's super daunting when there's so many options to pick from, but you can't go wrong if you follow this guide to pick the best moisturizer for your skin type. I wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. Let me know what moisturizer you're currently using from CeraVe. Let me know your thoughts on it, if it's worked best for your skin. And if you ever switch out to any of these moisturizers based on your skin type, also let me know in the comments below how it's worked for you so far. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video, subscribe down below, check out my other videos at the end of this video, and I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you.